And good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. You know, it's a slightly different layout today where I'm now utilizing the CMC Markets module linking feature on my NextGen platform. You notice there at the top uh, right hand corner of each one of my charts, I have this blue colored uh, box right here, also linked together to my watch list. So any product that I click within here, it will load up these eight charts, which are actually over eight different time frames. So um, in fact, if I start with the US 30, what I have here is a monthly time frame at the top end. And you'll be able to see month, week, um, four hours, one hours, 30 minutes, 10 minutes, five minutes, and one minute. And that really does give you a bit of an idea as to um, what's impacting the market. Um, so matter of fact, if I just go back to my US 30 for a second, I'm gonna change that to, um, to one week. I make this one day just to make that picture a little bit more clear uh, and you'll be able to see this feature in action. So if we actually talk about this on the weekly interval just for a quick second, so you'll notice there was potential resistance at 18167. Um, we managed to, we initially broke higher, so we gapped higher and to trade above there, but only to close yeah. below this level. So 18167 is actually going to be the next potential resistance level. And that's also not that far away from the price action right now to where the 21 period SMA is, which is a little bit above. 18,000. Longer term potential resistance yeah. remains at 18,283, and we do have a crossover on the MACD as well. So there's a little bit of uh, technical support, uh, but the fundamentals are still uh, yeah, tied lost, around lost monetary policy in right. the US and potential interest rates. So if we have a look at this uh, uh, across the other time frames, um, what you can actually see is the volatility. So we look here, this is the one minute interval. So this is so far since this morning, you can get a bit of a flavor as to the sideways action and the volatility that we've seen overnight. And uh, we were in the middle of an uptrend here. This this here is the 30 minute chart. This was the start of an uptrend quite close to that resistance. And then you can see there the failure to really capitalize to get through there. It tried to tick through, then drop below. And that's currently where we are right now. So moving on to the UK 100. And uh, again, what I'll do is I'll look at the daily interval to kickstart things off. Um, still at that, um, uh, still above 7,000, 7, which, which is great. There might be uh, a potential, uh, this was broken resistance, now I expect to track that support at 6,995. And if we look at the other time frames, the slightly narrower time frames, this gives you an idea about where the support and resistance levels are and where we currently sit. Uh, and as it's kind of bouncing higher, it looks like we're in about 7,030. Uh, the tips right here is where it's struggling to kind of really uh, capitalize. So we're getting uh, almost like a little mini head and shoulders formation right here. And you can see that on the, on the one minute chart that is really just struggling to break that little bit higher in the shorter, shorter term. So quickly moving on to the Japan 225. Uh, and we've not seen a huge amount of uh, of activity on the uh, Japanese yen. It's still in about 119, 120. Um, but looking at the daily interval as ever, just to get a bit of a flavor of how things are going, uh, not that far away from 20,000, uh, 20,845 still the potential resistance. Um, 19,104 will be the potential, uh, what is the potential support level that's broken resistance. The other technicals are still massively overbought. So where does that leave us on the end of the day? Well, you can see in the one minute, very, very much kind of sideways um, we are still grinding higher in that 30 minute interval right right now but we do seem to be re reaching a period um, a, a kind of a short-term potential resistance level around about 19,740 um, in fact if I just go in here for a quick second get my drawing tools out and just put something along here what you'll notice with the module linking feature is that will actually automatically add that across all my charts as well so we quickly move on to dollar yen uh, which, as I mentioned, has kind of flatlined and moved to the uh, to the downside quite a lot at the moment. Um, from the daily interval, as ever, you can see you can get a bit of a flavour. I've cleaned this up to make it nice, nice and simple for everybody. Uh, that 119 spot 38 is the potential support level. So let me just draw that on a little bit nicer. And remember that will automatically update across all the other charts as well. And uh, you can just see here the the, the type of um, uh, kind of activity that we've been seeing <laughs> over the last couple of sessions, and uh, where we are currently on that on that one minute. So a massive move to the downside, an attempt to break higher, and looks to be a consolidation around about 19, uh, 119 spot 60 as well. So moving on to uh, crude oil Brent at the moment. I don't normally look at West Texas, but let's give you a bit of a flavor of, of where we are. So this is this is it on the uh, on the daily interval, and uh, you can get a flavor that that's fifty two dollars has been the the recent low. This is Brent rather than West Texas, which I usually cover. The longer term potential support is forty five dollars. So we've kind of been in, in, in a mid track. Uh, the last two days have actually tried to move it a little bit higher. Low legged candles are indicative of some buying interest. 
we're on the wrong side or we're, we're slightly negative territory this morning uh, moving into the shorter time frames uh, if we just jump on here to the 30 minute you can see the big spike that we initially had and then they moved down now we're making a period of high of higher highs um, uh, looking at the 10 minutes it just seems to be kind of flattening off here unable to capitalize the moves were much more aggressive earlier on this morning um, and yesterday and this is us on the five minute so you can just see that we're just slowly drifting down but then when you look at it in one minute it's just absolutely tanking first thing uh, from around about seven um, this morning a.m uk time to where we are right now um, looking at gold as well before we move on to uh, on to major fx uh, again looking at the uh, daily intervals it's been has been fairly volatile but i need to just draw another quick support level on here um, you can get the flavor that we are now trading above 1181, which was potential resistance, and where that sits with the other time frame. So, looking at it from a 30 minute time frame, you can see it broke above there and retraced back down to 1181, uh, only to move back up to the upside. You can see that a bit more clearer in the 10 minutes, and then this is on the five minutes as well. And uh, we're just kind of floating around about 1188 right now on the one minute chart. So finishing up with GBP you and uh, uh, Euro Dollar, let's look at Euro Dollar next. And Euro Dollar um, has not done a huge amount. This is us looking at it from a, from a daily perspective there again. Uh, a decent move to the upside yesterday, still in positive territory today, in between two ranges, one spot 0821 as potential support, one spot uh, 1110 as potential resistance. Uh, and if we actually look at that across the other time frames, you can see this the extreme volatility that's in the four hours, on the one hour, uh, on where we currently sit, that's the 10 minutes. Um, we might have short term potential uh, resistance coming up around here. Let me just pop the five minute chart for a second. Uh, and we can just put a quick line right there. That was uh, the potential resistance at seven o'clock last night. And then get a bit of a flavor of where that sits with the other charts as well. So we could be looking for a potential breakout to then challenge one spot 11, 10 at some point in the future. You can see here the one minute chart is really trying to go for it first thing this morning. And just to finish up with GBP USD, what we're kind of really seeing here, if we look at the daily interval, uh, I feel you can just see resistance there at one spot 49.88. It's had a complete failure to break through there. Uh, let's have a look at that in the sort in the shorter time frames. You can just see the unbelievable volatility, even on the four hour inter interval right there. You can see it a bit clearer on the one hour, uh, again even clearer on the ten on the on the thirty minutes than the, than the ten. Uh, it looks to be just really struggling to break a little bit higher. This is on the, on the one minute currently, and you can see that there's a, a lot of volatility as it gets closer and closer to this one spot, 49.88 level, which looks like it could be quite tough for GBP USD to break in the short term. With regards to economic data, it's mainly PPI stuff due to today. There's loads of PPI data. China has already dis disappointed. And then fast forward on to Wednesday, we've got IFO business and expectations, durable goods, and the weekly petroleum sales. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.